That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. No wonder I feel so hollow. Tis a style all my own. A patchwork of techniques honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. Tis a style all my own. A patchwork of techniques honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. Wasn't sure we'd survive that, but here we are. My thanks for your efforts. Well met. Glad to see you in good health. We have reached our destination. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. Since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malf has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties, before being allowed to flee, the fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? With Malv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems ran far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! Th what? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor! I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still... How would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my Earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if naught else. Now, it is time we slept. 
There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village, for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, oh, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. You've heard she fled the village, aye? Though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge, protecting Vermont against the dragon. But as for where she went, I do not know. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the Overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. Very well. I shall return. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But an Enough about me. Did you need something? Always a pleasure. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? Arisen? I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? <laughs> no! I'm not sending anyone into that cave! But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? I've held my tongue till now, but no longer. 
You would leave one of your own to die. This is impermissible. A village is nothing without its people. Sacrificing that poor soul amounts to cutting off your own arm. As Harv's leader, you ought to strive to do whatever you can to bring him back alive. Can you truly say this decision benefits your people, Jonas? <laughs> Who are you to question me? I'll suffer none of your impudence, outsider! Be gone from our village! I, Jonas, I am an outsider, and therefore have no reason to heed any commands you would give. I shall follow my own will, and do what must needs be done. All those with the strength and courage to do the same, join me at Stormwind Cave! Thank you.